there were several deductions that expired and then Congress reauthorized or re-extended into 2010 and 11 and 12. And those three, and because the uh, extensions were done so late into December, the IRS is having to reprogram their systems, so they won't be able to accept returns that claim uh, primarily three of those deduction extensions. The first one is anyone who itemizes their deductions and files a Schedule A will not be able to file until late. And the reason for that is that Congress extended the sales tax deduction so that people who itemize uh, particularly here in Texas that's important for us because we don't have an income tax and taxpayers can choose between deducting the sales tax or their state and local income tax and so obviously we would choose the income tax I mean the, the sales tax uh, and that gets reported on a Schedule A. The other deduction that was extended was the educator expense deduction of $250 and teachers who teach in K through 12 can deduct up to $250 for classroom expenses that they purchase themselves. So people who have the documentation of that can take that deduction. And the third one that re will result in uh, delayed filing is uh, certain um, taxpayers who have higher education expenses, if they're not eligible to take either a lifetime learning credit or a HOPE, um, now the American Opportunity Credit, then they may be eligible to deduct their um, higher education tuition and fees as a deduction on the front of their 1040 as a higher education tuition and fees deduction. So those are the three things that will result in if people are taking either of those or all of them that they will result in delayed filing.